Hey guys, it's Matt, and I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be filming a fall plant collection. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. So first off, this is the southern window, this really big window here, and this is where I keep most of my plants because a lot of the plants I have require a lot of light. So first off on the shelf thing is this croton, then I have this aloe vera with a pup, this is another croton, and then this is a string of buttons, as you can see it's really long. Then I have my Crassula ovata, I think that's how you pronounce it, but also known as a jade plant. I really like this because it's in a tree form. And then I have a Madagascar palm. On this shelf I have a beautiful variegated rubber tree plant. I think this is a strawberries and cream version. And then right next to it I have my Monster Adansonii propagation. These were stems or like leaves that were damaged that I just cut off and now they're rooting. I have my variegated spider plant I propagated. I have this really big um, euphorbia. I don't know what exact uh, euphorbia it is. But if you know, please put it down in the comments. Then right here I have the very popular variegated string of hearts. As you can see, it's trailing quite a bit. When I got this plant, it was about to here, and about two to three months later, it's down to here. The last thing that's on the shelf is this nopal cactus propagation, but as you can see, this little one's not doing so well, but this one might be rooting, but it's kind of leaning towards the other one. Next to this wooden stand, I have my really big Hoya, as you can see. The leaves on this is huge. And I don't know the variety of this, but please let me know in the comments if you know. It has these little um, speckles that are like mint green. Here's another one that has more speckling. This wooden thing is actually meant for cucumbers and other vegetables, but I'm using it for my Hoya because as you can see, it's very long. As you can see here, I have my really big spider plant with all of its baby spiders. And this is a good example as to why it's called a spider plant because from the mother, it shoots off uh, other babies and it looks kind of like a spider. A funny story about this is that I got this during vacation, during a road trip, so I had to bring this everywhere. It was kind of embarrassing, but it was really worth it because I only got this for, I think, $9. Back to this section. This is the second layer, or the second shelving unit, I guess. And right here, I have my succulent propagation center. This is um, elephant bush that I just planted today, and a lot of leaves fell off, so I'm going to be propagating that. And then I have a jade, a lot of jade, actually, and other just random baby succulents. Right here, I have my toddler stage, I guess, of propagation. So this is a Hoya, and as you can see, there are leaves that are popping out. This is my other Hoya, but it doesn't have any new leaves. But it has roots, as you can see right there. This is an aloe vera that actually propagated off from the mother plant that I just showed you. It's quite big. And then I have other pups, but these are really small, and they're kind of like drying out, so I better water them, especially this one right here. And then I have this kind of sad looking Christmas cactus, or Thanksgiving cactus I propagated, but it's actually um, given off a lot of growth here. And I don't know what this is, but I'm guessing that's a bud for a flower. But yeah, I need to water this as you can see. So, sorry about this viewing, but this is the pot that has my barrel cactus right there. And the fun fact is that this was my first ever plant and it's still alive, but hasn't really grown a lot. And then I have my California, I think it's a sedum, but it's a California sunset. And right here, I have my string of pearls. So like what I was saying, this is my string of pearls, I think, or it might be a string of raindrops. And this is trailing quite a bit. Now on to the last uh, shelving unit of this whole shelf. 
I have my huge jade collection. I have one, two, three, four, five different uh, plants of jade here. And as you can see, they're doing quite well. Except for this guy right here. He dropped quite a few leaves, but he does have new growth. And then right here, I have an agave. I'm not sure which one, but I think it's like a seesaw agave. I'm not sure though. So right here, I have a lot of succulents, as you can see. And a fun fact is that I started a botany club at my school. So this is for a future project where we're going to be making succulent terrariums. And then down below the shelving unit, I do have this um, metal, not metal, but like tin foil tray that I do a lot of indoor planting when it's too cold, such as today. And it's kind of messy because, like I said, I planted something in the morning, which I'll show you later. And then right here, I have my very messy um, gardening supplies and pots and water and fertilizer and all of that, which I really need to organize. And then right here, um, below this wooden shelf, I have a lot of plastic pots that will be used for my garden club. Right next to all these plants here, I have this glass table and all these plants belong to my mom but I'll just show you right here I'm pretty sure it's a type of lily but I'm actually not sure there's a better view and it has quite a bit of dead leaves there but we've had this for a super long time and it blooms like orange flowers right here is like a dying plant <laughs> As you can tell, my mom's not the greatest at keeping plants alive, but I don't touch them because it's hers. But I actually don't know what plant this is, so if you do know, please comment down below. I'm trying to find out. But it's like these leafy, grassy type of foliage. And right here, we have a dumb cane plant. And it's kind of like infested with mealybugs, as you can see right there. Which I've been trying to maintain, but just keep on coming back. So if you have any tips, please comment down below. But other than that, it's pretty healthy because it has this new growth right here. And the fun fact is that this is really, really old, probably more than 10 years old. And the reason why it's so small is because this is a baby off the mother plant that used to be alive. And the mother plant went all the way up this whole entire wall, all the way to the top. It was like a tree, but then it eventually died and it gave off this wonderful baby plant. Right here above all these plants right down here, this is my variegated queen marble or marble queen pothos. And as you can see, there's a lot of browning happening right here, but there is a lot of new growth, so that's the good news. So right here, I have my Pelia peperomoides. I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's just known as a Pelia. I really like it because it's very simple in a way that it's just a single stem with a really round leaf. Now this is the planter that I planted today that I was talking about. And it's a terrarium that I got at Home Depot. It was on sale for only $9 so I snatched that right away. And right here I have a Haworthia and then variegated elephant bush. And yeah, I also have decorative moss. Right here, I have a beautiful Thanksgiving cactus, and as you can see, it's in bloom right now. So here's a newer bloom. It's pink and kind of white. Right here are older blooms, and there's a lot more coming. Now right next to this Thanksgiving cactus, I have this um, hyacinth, I think. It's like a bud plant. And as you can see, there's really small new growth there. I got this from my aunt after Easter, and she was going to throw it away if I told her I'll take it. Because I know that bud plants usually regrow. As you can see, there's new growth right there. And then right next to that is my Monstera Deliciosa propagation cutting that I made from my uh, main plant. It has grown quite a lot. These are new leaves right here. And then right here, I didn't even notice this until now, but there is a new leaf right there popping out. Right next to all of that, on top of the grand piano, I have this beautiful variegated snake plant. As you can see, it's quite big, and it goes all the way down here. 
and there is new growth right there and there's some in there and as you can see this bowl or planter is very low but that's how snake plants like it right here I have my monster and Sonii, and this is kind of embarrassing because it's like kind of dying but I wanted to show you guys how it is right now and not take these leaves off because I want maybe some of you guys to help me down in the comments what's going on but yeah this is the monster and Sonii. It's a lot more fuller on this side as you can see. And there's this has grown actually a lot. When I first got it, it was like right here and it's grown all of this during the growing season. But as you can see, there's a lot of brown and crispy leaves here. And it's been yellowing like this for quite a bit all on the top. So I lost a lot of leaves here. So if you know what's going on with this plant, please let me know because this was my most expensive purchase. It was almost $30 at my local nursery and I really don't want this to die. But yeah, this is the Monster Edisonii. And this is my birdcage, but as you can see, it's empty, sadly. Um, I was going to do an updated cage tour, but two days ago, my uh, youngest bird, Kiwi, actually passed away. And also, my other bird, Chico, my oldest one, he actually died on 4th of July, which is really unfortunate. But yeah, this is their empty cage, if you guys can remember from my cage tour, which is my most popular video, which is really exciting. I don't know if I'm going to get any more birds, because I just want to take a break from them. But yeah, I might disassemble this later today. Right here, I have a humongous north-facing window, along with a... I think eastern window. Right here I have my fiddly fig and it's like a tree form as you can see with the bare stem but it's dropped two leaves recently. I don't know why but I think it's because the weather's getting really cold here and at first this wasn't growing at all but then about a month ago it brought off this really weird shoot with two leaves right here. As you can see it's really big and glossy but it's really weird is that it's a really long stem, so I was wondering what I should do and if this was normal. So please comment down if you know why this happened. I actually got this fiddly fig for only $25 at Costco. And as you guys know, Costco isn't really a plant seller, it's not a nurse garden nursery. But I advise that you always check somewhere else because you never know what kind of deals you're going to get. Right here next to the fiddly fig is my mom's humongous rubber tree plant. And this is actually like a tree other than my variegated one. As you can see, there is a lot of new growth here. So I really like this plant because of how like wild it's kind of growing. Right on this glass bookshelf, I have my Monstera Deliciosa. And as you can see, there is a lot of new growth right here. This is my favorite leaf because of how huge it is. There's new growth right here. Right here right there so it's been growing a lot here this is a different angle of my monstera deliciosa and on this side there's a lot more leaves that have slits this is a new leaf right here again and this is my favorite plant by far because of how easy it is and how much it grows right here we have our second piano the other one was a baby grand piano but this is an older like just wooden one Right here on top of the piano, I have this really beautiful fern. I'm pretty sure it's a bird nest fern. Yeah, a bird nest fern. I actually got this for a birthday present from my friend. When I first got it, there was only maybe like five leaves, but now there's a whole bunch with a bunch of new growth right here. Now this is my room. I do have quite a few plants here, even though this is a north facing window. So right here on my shelf, I have a, this is not a plant obviously, but I have a microscope that I love, like looking at leaves and all that, it's just really cool to have. Right here I have my peace lily, it's grown a lot and it's very full, but there's no more bloom sadly, this is the last one as you can see. Right here I have these two little cactuses, and right here I have another um, jade plant. Now on this other shelf. I have this really cool pothos that's trailing quite a bit. Right next to my pothos, I have a little plate with just baby plants. 
I have this baby J plant and this baby zebra plant. And then right here, I have these water propagation things. This is a um, wandering Jew plant. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of roots. And right here is some new growth. Right here, I have my lucky bamboo along with a spire plant that's rooting. Right here, I have a hot sauce bottle that I'm using for water propagation. And I have, just have a spire plant and this weird trailing plant I found on the streets, but as you can see, it's not doing too well. This is my spire plant. It's actually a Hawaiian spire plant. So it's a different variation from the one downstairs. And there's kind of, there's quite a bit of brown leaves because I forgot to water this. But it has a lot of new growth, so I know that will do fine. And there's a baby right here, and there's a lot of babies trailing off of it right here. Here, I just have this little macrame hanging spider plant that goes all the way up to my curtain rod thing. This baby spider plant is actually from my mother plant downstairs. It's already rooted and has a lot of new growth. And then lastly in my room, I have this cutting slash propagation of a pothos. And believe it or not, this plant's actually like 25 years old. The story behind this plant is that my mom got this plant as a gift like 25 years ago, but then it got infected with mealybugs but it was really bad so she threw it away. So I got a clipping that big and sorry about the backlight, but and then it has grown a lot. So yeah, this is a 25 year old pothos the size of a baby pothos. We are now in my sister's room. And I have a, quite a few of my plants actually in her room because this is a southern window, so it's really good for plants. Right here on this tall bookshelf, I have an orchid and then more uh, pups from the aloe vera downstairs. Right here, I have the same plant that's a mystery plant that my mom has, but this looks a lot healthier than the other one downstairs. And right here, I have a really sad um, string of hearts. As you can see, it's dead. But I actually searched up, and they said that the tuberal or something like that will sprout new leaves. So I'm just waiting for that to happen. Right here is my sister's lucky bamboo. It's quite long. And here is my sister's golden pothos. But the sad thing about this plant is that the place actually made a lot of clippings right here, 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 like basically every single stem but the good news is that there is a lot of new growth happening so it should trail soon this is the last section of her room that actually have plants right here is a snake plant this is growing quite a lot and then a cutting from this right here is this snake plant and this is the one I propagated off of it and as you can see there is new growth this is the last plant from the fall plant collection. It is a English ivy in a can. And as you can see, it has trailed quite a bit. This plant was actually in my room, but since I have a north facing window, it didn't grow whatsoever, but it didn't die. So when I put it in my sister's room, it grew all of this and these three leaves. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I apologize that it was kind of long because I have a lot of plants, but I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe and comment down what's your favorite houseplant, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!